Yeah, I know I'm kinda late to this whole Chainsaw Man party, <laughs> but the hype is still floating around this anime, so I thought, why not make a video on it? I remember when the Chainsaw Man trailers first dropped and pulled in tens of millions of views months before the anime even releasing, which is something completely unheard of. It was reaching the same levels of hype as the final season of Attack on Titan, and that anime has been airing for a decade now. Everybody was talking about Chainsaw Man left and right and how amazing it was gonna be. However, I was skeptical. You see, there is a pattern I've noticed, whenever an anime gathers an overwhelming amount of hype, it also unintentionally bumps up my expectations to the extremes as well. A similar thing happened to Jujutsu Kaisen. Everybody hyped up the anime so much that my expectations flew through the roof. And even though it turned out to be a pretty solid show, it fell short of my initial anticipation. So the question on my mind wasn't really whether Chainsaw Man was going to be a good show. Instead it was, could it possibly live up? to the unimaginable hype presented by its die-hard audience. Let's find out. The story begins with our protagonist Denji, paying off his father's debt who bought 38 million yen worth of OnlyFans feed content and then killed himself. Denji is now paying off that debt by killing devils with the help of Puchira, the little chainsaw doggo. They live in a $3,000 per month New York apartment where they dream about having more money and getting some pussy. Relatable, man. <laughs> the next day, his father's pimp picks him up to kill another devil. But plot twist, it was actually the Twitter devil, who turned all of his users into mindless zombies that are now after Denji's head. But no problem, Denji's the main character. He got this in the bag. They killed Denji. However, he got plot armor. So he merges with Pachta and they become Chainsaw Man. Oh my god, do you see the eye? It's so ugly! Shut up! Watch this. Uh. When Denji is done with the massacre, Twitter is no more. Yeah! Men in black arrive to check on this scene, only to find a man standing in a pile of blood. Denji says, hug me, and this hot chick hugs him? Damn, it, it's, it's that easy? She reveals that her name is Makima and that she's a devil hunter, which means... She hunts devils. So when I pull this cord, a chainsaw comes out of my forehead. Interesting. How should I call you in that form, Denji? Hmm. Motorsaw person! How about Chainsaw Man? Awesome! She tells him to either join the devil hunters or die. He obviously complies. And that's how Denji's story begins. <laughs> Makima and Denji arrive at the HQ, and that's when we meet our boy Aki. Yippee! Makima tells him that they have to work together now, which upsets Denji because he wanted to work with Makima. And I can't really blame him. I'd want to go to work with Makima too. Aki sees that Denji is visibly upset and does the only thing a rational human being would do in that situation. He beats the shit out of Denji and tells him to quit being a devil hunter. Denji retaliates and destroys Aki's future bloodline. When Makima confronts him, he says that he got attacked by the testicle devil. Makima doesn't believe him and says, Be a good boy and don't do that again. Denji starts barking and so do I. Then we get introduced to another member of the squad, Power, who game ends a nearby cucumber devil without her superior's permission. Makima didn't like that, so she... Um, anyway, they go to another mission to kill this 4chan user. Denji, turn into Morosaw person. <coughs> oh, why'd you do that? I wanted to make his death as painless as possible. Stop fucking around, Denji. Devils deserve to suffer. You should make their deaths as painful as possible. Jeez, dude. What exactly did the devils do to you that you hate them so much? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching! Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the bell notification! Goodbye! And that's why I will destroy the devil that killed my family. Avenging them is my goal. And that's when Denji realizes that he has no goal. Nothing to work toward, no motivation to keep going. So he brainstorms a little bit until he sees these adult magazines. And that's when he gets an epiphany and realizes his purpose.
is to touch some boobs. Yeah! He's me! He's me for real! You see, normal shonen protagonist motivation is usually I want to become the number one hero! I want to become the wizard king! I want to kill the king of demons! <laughs> Which are all noble goals, but I don't really see myself in these protagonists. I can't self-insert because look, I'm a selfish motherfucker! I'm not gonna save people unless it benefits me. However, Denji! That's a relatable character! With the new motivation at hand, he meets Power at this dark alleyway, which tells him about her pet Miaoi, who was kidnapped from her. Denji proposes that if he saves Miaoi, she must let him grope those badonkers. She agrees, no questions asked. They arrive at the location, but Denji's testicles start tingling and telling him something is wrong. That's when Power betrays him and trades him to the Bat Devil, who then betrays Power and eats Miaoi along with her, then flies away to meet his Discord kitten. But of course, Denji didn't give up on touching those titties! So he fights the Bat Devil in this gloriously animated sequence that I may or may not have nutted to a couple of times. Oh, the animation is so good! He beats the Bat Devil, and when he thinks the stage is clear to touch some hoobaloobaloos, the penis devil! Oh wait, I meant the leech devil appears! She tells Denji that Bat was her boyfriend and that they both had a dream of devouring every human. So Denji tells her that his dream is to devour some pussy. She calls his dream stupid and Denji proposes that they have a battle of dreams, where they have to fight to the death to see whose dream is truly better. Denji loses. What does the fuck say? Aki saved Denji, yippee! He lands in the hospital where Aki gives him like a character development speech or something. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure, I don't care. What I do care about is the fact that Power got away with betraying and almost getting Denji killed multiple times, which is absolutely atrocious. In my opinion, she should be executed immediately. <sighs> I retract my statement. The next day, Makima gives us some exposition and explains how devils are created. I'll quickly sum it up. Devils are created from anything people fear. Could be primal fears, like snake, leech, bat, or man-made fears, like ghost, angel, or chainsaw. The more people fear a certain thing, the stronger its devil counterpart becomes. That's why a microphone devil would be much weaker than, for example, an atomic bomb devil. Man, I cannot wait for the grass devil to appear and scare the shit out of Chainsaw Man fans. She also tells us about the main antagonist of the story. The Gun Devil, who wiped out 1.2 million people in 5 seconds, killed Aki's family, and is Makima's main op. She's now trying to find all of his slash pieces in order to find his location, and that's why our main trio is on a mission to get some of that MEAT! The, the, the guns... The, the, he's flesh, okay? But they're not going into this mission alone. We also get introduced to some new characters. Crybaby Dad and Best Girl. Do not even debate me on that. But before the next mission begins, Makima calls Denji to her headquarters. So why'd you call me over? Have you heard of this gun devil who can wipe out cities in a matter of minutes? N n no If you kill him, I'll let you fuck the shit out of me. WHERE IS THE GUN DEVIL?! Hey, are you the gun devil? T -t two minutes... Noza! <laughs> ha, I killed the gun devil! That... that wasn't the gun devil. Hello? Ah, oh, the gun devil! <laughs> Alright, I killed the gun devil! Denji, that wasn't the gun devil. Fuck! At least you get to kiss me! Yippee! <laughs> that sucked. At least you get to lose your virginity! Yippee! Psych, you're a minor. Come on, nothing goes my way! I hope this ramen will make me feel better. Hey. <coughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Yippee, we won! No! <laughs> you are worthless. <laughs> your life is nothing. <laughs> Sir, zero purpose. Say it! You should kill yourself now! Yippee, we did it! Oh my god, she's raising him! <laughs> Ghost, help Aki! No. -uh. Come on, pretty please! Okay, fine. <laughs> help me! <gasps> Dog, can you do anything by yourself? 
Are you the gun devil? No. I'm sharp sword person. Cheat attack. Go! What? Uh, Alright, let's go! Expresso compresso! Oh shit, we gotta run! No! Uh, fuck it, drive! Everybody's fucking dead! When I first saw this episode, I was in absolute shock. Processing this much death in such a short period of time was quite intense. But I love that! I feel like anime too often treats us like babies. With the overextended explanations, dumbass flashbacks, and with the power of friendship bullshit. It was this scene that made me fall in love with the series, because it showed me that Chainsaw Man isn't really afraid to pull any punches. You got a beloved character? Fuck you, they're dead now! And that's why I love Made in Abyss, Heavenly Delusion, Attack on Titan, and now Chainsaw Man. Because these stories will hit you in the nuts, kick you in the face, curb stomp you, and keep you laying there without any emotional recovery. I wish more series were as merciless as Chainsaw Man. Now Aki is mourning Himeno's death. He cries. Fucking pussy. Denji as the Sigma male Giga Chat feels no remorse. Makima then realized that Denji and Power are weak as fuck. So she brings them to the graveyard, which has as many dead people as my sock. She tells them this sexy Delph is gonna gently train them to become stronger. Meanwhile, Aki was getting a contract with a new devil called I Read the Manga Devil, who knows how Aki is gonna die but won't tell him because he doesn't spoil. Be like I Read the Manga Devil. The evil lair of the villains got leaked in a War Thunder Discord server, so now the devil hunters are ready to raid this shit up. A lot of new faces show up, like the whale person, the drip fiend, and this hot angel chick. Oh, oh that's a man? The raid begins. Aki storms the building to find the person responsible for Himeno's death. And now he's ready to take revenge. But <gasps> she now controls the ghost devil. Shit. I, I really don't want to fight the ghost devil. Psst, Aki. If you win, I'll blow you in the afterlife. <gasps> Fuck you, dude. Meanwhile, that was happening, Denji got into the big climactic fight of the season. Long blade mail versus sawing machine lad. They jump down some buildings, such silly goofballs, illegally board a train and brawl. Hey, this fight is going into a really good direction. Just please don't use the cheat attack. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I used the attack. <laughs> Denji wins. Later on, Aki arrives to help debate Denji on what to do with Sharp Knife Bloke. And that's when the testicle devil takes over Aki's and Denji's body. And the season concludes with them both kicking the shit out of Katana Man's balls. Wow. That was a great show! I barely have any complaints besides Kobeni being a really obnoxious character. However, do I believe it lived up to the hype? Mm, yeah. Pretty much, I don't really see what they could improve. It had likable characters, gorgeous animation, and it was really funny. I, in fact, liked it so much that I even read the manga. D don't spare yourself the suffering. Please don't read the manga. You should instead watch this similar parody video I made about Demon Slayer Season 3. Hey, are you guys having a slumber party? Can I join? Oh my god, he... He's black! <laughs> Just like that, Upper 4 was defeated. Just kidding! He's not dead yet! He split into two clones. One that uses a weed staff who we're gonna call.